This is a demonstration of the recent additions to the Embedded Character Sheet plugin. So there were two major updates for the uh, Embedded Character Sheet plugin. One of them added the ability to change um, the values on your character sheet directly from the Embedded Character Sheet plugin. You no longer need to go outside uh, to change values in configuration files or use the uh, somewhat clunky ECS editor uh, plugin that was um, available uh, up to now. Uh, the other major update was then on top of that to allow quick changing of values um, by basically mousing over, over a element and then using the keyboard to increase it or decrease it. Um, the second functionality uh, is somewhat limited. Um, it is turned off by default uh, and any element that you want to be able to use that functionality on you need to uh, explicitly say um, but um, if configured properly it can make changing um, your values that you typically change up and down uh, very quick so let's demonstrate that Okay, so I've got a character here, and for this character, I have a layout and data sheet defined. Actually, the layout and data sheet have been borrowed from uh, Brandon, who is working on making some fantastic um, character sheet layouts. Um, so uh, you can bring up the character sheet using the keyboard combination, or you can use the radial menu. Okay, so here we have the um, character sheet uh, has come up. And now if I want to modify any of these values, um, I need to middle mouse click. So if you use your left mouse click, it will make a roll. So I can demonstrate that here. I've um, left mouse clicked and I got the roll. If instead, I go to the value and I middle mouse click, I will get a, a dialog box that pops up and it tells me what the formula for that, <coughs> uh, that element is and it will allow me to change the placeholder, the, the configurable value. So if I change it to three and hit apply, we can see that um, the value here changed to 3, and we can also see that anything that depends on that also updated. So I can go back and change that back to 5, and we will see that it changed to 5, and you can see the save um, also updated because it's dependent on that. Um, so that is the editing feature right from ECS. Um, you can do that on uh, most um, elements, but now we also have the fast change. So currently I have set up fast change for my mic here. So if I mouse over and I increase, then you can see that um, it is increasing. I'm not middle mouse clicking and entering a value. I can just mouse over it and use the increase or decrease keys to uh, increase or decrease. Now, you will notice that when we <clears throat> entered a manual value, once the value was, uh, was entered, there was a small delay between us entering it in and um, it displaying on the screen. Uh, the reason for that is that the value needs to be passed to all the other players um, and uh, so that they can also update and that causes a little bit of a delay. Um, if we were to increase <clears throat> the value up and down using that method, um, it would update very slowly because it would have to set any time you increased it by one or decreased it by one, it would send that update. Once it's updated, you'd be able to make the next move. Um, to avoid that, as you can see, what the plugin does is it changes 
the one value that you're changing immediately just on the local side that allows it to, to be able to update quickly and only once the user has stopped modifying it does it go and send out the updates to all the other players and also update the rest of the screen to match so you can see here when i'm modifying the might my save is not updating until i stop for a moment and then the update goes through and our save updates so it's basically um, allowing you to quickly toggle through your numbers and then still distributing the results to the other players. So there you go. That is the fast change um, functionality. Uh, as I noted uh, in the configuration, when you are setting up your layout, you indicate which elements are able to use the fast change um, functionality. Uh, there's obviously cases where you don't want that. So for example, on the hit points here, you might want fast change on your current number of hit points, but you don't really want fast change on your maximum because your maximum typically does not change frequently. Um, so you can do that in the configuration. Uh, if I go here over to, to agility, for example, and try to use the fast adjust, it's not doing anything because this element was not configured to use it. So the uh, configuration of the layout has full uh, power over which elements can and which elements cannot make use of that feature. And that's about it.